We now acknowledge that all people in the human community have fundamental rights. So the next step in the development of this moral and legal evolution is to say, wait a minute, if, if, if we're going to say that people of color uh, have rights just as well as white people have rights and that women have rights just as well as men have rights, it really makes no difference to say that non-human animals uh, don't don't have rights and, and that humans have rights. That, that that is a contradiction, that is a hypocrisy. That animals have these rights just as we have these rights. So therefore, first of all, right guarantees you basic freedoms and liberties. And for the non-human animal, it's going to be their right to bodily freedom. That means we don't experiment on them. That means we don't confine them in cages. That means we don't hunt them. That means that we can't slaughter them for food just because it suits our palate preferences. So to have that right is an important guarantee for animals. Now, a lot of people want to raise the question, well, non-human animals and human animals are very different. Animals don't design spaceships. Animals don't write algebra books. Animals don't compose sonatas. Animals don't uh, think about the world on an ethical level than we do. And they want to point out all of these differences between human and non-human animals. But they're missing the point. The point is not what is different among us and them. The point is what is similar between all of us, that we are all animals. We have all evolved from a long continuum of, uh, of natural evolution, that it's a continuum of consciousness and subjectivity and, uh, and of a community of life. And so what really is at issue is what unites us, not what separates us. And what we have, that what we share with the animal world is that we are sentient animals and that we can feel pain and that we know the difference between pleasure and pain, that we have choices, we have preferences, we have a life that is precious to us, and we have young family members that are precious to us, and that we have wishes and plans, and we are subjects of a life. All living animals share this in common. And when you get right down to it, why human beings have rights is because they can feel pain and they have these kinds of preferences. And, and the animals live in the same kind of world as we do at that level. And that's all that is needed for any living being to have rights. If you can feel pain and you have preferences, then no one ought to ever take, the, take those preferences away from you and inflict pain on you for any reason. If you have a right, you have a right to your own integrity of your body.